what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so according to the alberta uh trailer rating site that we went to for the official information regarding the upcoming halloween kills trailer when back when that original trailer was supposed to come out and we saw the runtime for it that site has updated to tell us now that a six trailer is as they have it titled trailer number six for halloween kills is on its way soon and it's going to be two minutes and 16 seconds now when this trailer will drop i don't know what this trailer will show though is the more interesting thing now for those of you who have already read the script i'm sure you're running through your mind a list of things that they could show that they haven't already shown in the trailer that we've already seen and the other tv spots but they've been showing so many tv spots that it's just like well are you just gonna have just a compilation of things we've already seen in these tv spots because honestly i would need to i'm gonna wait to see how people are reacting to the second trailer before i actually watch it only because they are showing so many tv spots at this point it's just like i don't want to necessarily see anything else before i see this movie the recent tv spots that i'm seeing they're showing all the flashbacks not showing them but like just shades of them you you see dr loomis at one point in one of the tv spots is going around which i assume is a part of the 1978 flashback you are seeing they actually did show the myers house in a recent tv spot that has come out now for the film and it looks absolutely amazing the blue tint and the way the type of atmosphere they're going for just just screams them trying to honor the original uh cinematography presented in the original film so i'm very excited to see that blue tint return and excited to see how atmospheric this movie can be but we have another trailer to look forward to i don't know what it could show it could just show us more kills more different types of things related to the related to the strolled women and maybe seeing how allison is handling the night with michael and tommy and Lindsay and her mother and the whole mob mentality vibe that we're going for with this new film we could see more glimpses of Lori strode in the hospital maybe in this new trailer there's just so much that they could be argued have shown too much now with all the tv spots and the trailer and the stuff that we got leading into this year and now this pending trailer that's coming out i don't know how much more you guys have a tolerance for but i'm at the point where i am gonna wait to see how everybody's responding to the second trailer before i say okay i'll check it out because just like i said before i've said this plenty of times no matter how much i know about the movie that's not letting me know how good it is it's just getting me excited for it how good it is will be determined by how everything that i've seen in these trailers that have been well executed does that translate to a now well executed movie overall with these compilations of scenes that they've given us with this incredible music behind it to amp us all up these incredible scenes of bloodshed michael myers doing what he does best the other thing i want to talk about was that rotten tomato score i have no doubt that the, that the score will go up if not go up it'll stay relative to where it's at right now but something's just telling me that the score will go up we now know that the film will be having a premiere at beyond fest as well so it's having a lot more other screenings maybe this is the more appropriate audience since beyond fest will be presenting a lot of horror films there anyway so maybe this will be the appropriate audience that they should have presented this to but like i've always said outside of that also just because you're not a horror fan or with any genre i try to when i watch non-horror movies i try to take them all in the same way i do any any horror film just because i'm a diehard horror fan doesn't mean i can't appreciate other genres i'm a big fan of other movies like mean girls or freaky friday or you know a movie like training day any type of action film or comedy even i'm a big fan of any well done movie that's what i take into all these different genres so when i'm reading the halloween kills reviews i'm just getting vibes of you know i'm not a big fan of horror i'm just gonna find any little thing that i can narc come down on it for just not to say that they had criticisms in there that aren't valid because again talking about the lack of character development for certain people i could see myself being in agreement with that i could just see it because you do have a big audience of big group of characters that you're going to be working with that you're going to be reconnecting us with letting us catch up with them and maybe they're all just be sharing the sh sharing the camera a little bit too much for you to kind of make any one individual character feel important before they ultimately die which would then result in their death not really meaning anything because like i said before we're being reintroduced to characters that we haven't seen since the 1978 film and then you know one of them if not a few of them will die so it's like are you going to give us anything to really care about their deaths or are they just going to be here for nostalgia purposes and then die 
which at that point in time would not be proper character development as far as I've always been accustomed to when it comes to how you should be properly developing a character. So the whole trailer situation looks like we have another trailer on the way. What it could show, maybe we'll see glimpses of the Myers house outside of just what's been shown in the TV spots and these other images that we've seen of the Myers house. I have to just comment just because again, all the stuff that's happened with Halloween 5 and these other incarnations of the Myers house that have come and gone. This looks like a proper re rebuilt of that original house from the 78 classic movie so i can't wait to see how the house and what happens inside the house and how it how it'll factor into the narrative can't wait to see michael myers do his thing once again when this trailer will drop i do not know but my guess will probably be sometime this week since the movie isn't that far out anyway because i i would imagine they'll want to have this out before the beyond fest premiere that it has coming up so be on the lookout for that new trailer a lot of us thought it was going to be coming uh, a day or two ago when bloody disgusting put out a tweet that was like at 3 p.m eastern just be here or something like that that of course was not for halloween kills also sadly it was not for screen five but it was for the new paranormal activity movie next of kin which of course is coming out in october as we also know and that'll be going straight to paramount plus so who knows when the halloween kills second trailer that i want to call it will be coming out they're calling it trailer six because again we've had so many things that have come out to get us excited about this movie we've seen a lot of footage from these tv spots from the teasers that we got leading into this year from last year when the movie got canceled they just wanted to give us something to be patient and just get us excited for what we had to look forward to this year so this trailer could drop at any moment this week that would be my likely guess because like i said before they would most likely want to have this thing out there before the pending beyond fest world premiere where i'm pretty confident that by the beyond fest premiere we'll start to see that rotten tomato score go up a little bit more or stay relatively the same mixed to positive more so than mixed to negative and we'll probably hear more horror fans in more horror fans responses to this movie once it has a premiere at beyond fest but let me know what you guys think about the trailer that's coming up down in the comment section below what do you think the trailer is going to show are you even going to bother watching this second trailer or do you think you've seen enough and you just want to wait to see it in theaters or on peacock whichever one you choose uh but let me know down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and then with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video